Designer Shy DeLuca Tomasi says this of <laughs> for trends and that you can replicate them on a budget with good planning and shopping. So yes. you need to think, you need to get that Bible. Yes. And look at that Bible mm -hmm. because whatever's happening in fashion now is going to be happening in interior design next year. Next year. So right? that's the big trick. And, you know, as designers, we're always looking at what is happening in fashion now, what we see on the runways, and we're planning for next year. So this is a great way to save money, Tracy, because if we know what's happening now, we're not going to be spending the big bucks next year when all the trends are coming out and the, and the uh, manufacturers know that we're going to be spending the money. Yes. We're planning a year in advance. I love that. Okay, yeah. so what are the hottest trends that we're seeing in vogue right now? So uh, what we saw last year, what we're seeing now in interior design yeah. would be the first one would be preppy chic. Mm -hmm. Preppy chic is so I, this is why I'm wearing my little bow tie. I know, preppy it's chic. So cute. Yeah, and I, this is real, this is a lot of fun because this is something that has a traditional undertone to it, but really carries through in its classic tones. Yeah. So this vignette was inspired by our very own Brian Gluckstein. He designed uh, almost like an English library, mm -hmm. and that is a really good jumping off point for preppy chic. Now, the okay. big thing about those libraries is you see those beautiful walls of books. That can be super expensive because, of course, you're spending money on those uh, leather-bound books. Right. Leather-bound books are really, uh, really costly. I'm going to give you guys a trick that we designers use. It's a little trick of the trade that you're going to learn now. Yeah. When we style rooms and we don't want to spend a lot of money on the books, we actually just flip the books backwards. So you see the white pages. Oh. That gives that consistency without having to look for books that are all one color right. or that all the leather bound it saves you a lot of money and you can actually use them the books that you have at home I thought you were going to suggest wrapping them all no. in the same because I've seen that before. That? I have seen that before. Like all the books are pink. I'm like, I don't have the time for that. Do you remember when we were in school and you had to use those those covers for the yes. books and you have to wrap that? That's what made me think of that. So I don't know. No, it won't be that. Yeah, just, just turn, turn them around. around. Turn, turn them around. around. Much easier. Okay. Now, also, of course, when we're talking about preppy chic, you got to have some leather. You got to have some tufting. Yes. So get yourself a great chair like this, and this is going to be a really key staple. Now we've done it in a darker leather because that's going to be a great grounding point for the room. Right. And it really just uh, gives a nice masculine feel to it. And Preppy Chic often is going to have a little bit of a masculine undertone to it. Mm -hmm. Now, we've also stacked books here. And what I like about stacking books is that this is in lieu of a coffee table. Right. I'm, or a side table, excuse me. Yeah. So we're saving uh, the money on that using the books, but it gives that eclectic feel that Preppy Chic often has. Yes. We're able to uh, put things on it. Great, so got some great styling things. You could go on Kijiji or uh, Craigslist, find some old typewriters, yeah. just to give a nod to that and then of course we've grounded it with the the faux hide underneath now next to you trace do you yes. see that, that that little beauty this over there I absolutely love I mean I love the, the yeah. collegiate feel of preppy uh, but I love this right so that actually is a suitcase so if you pull up that there you ah. go this is actually a suitcase that you can take with you make it. come on over come here travel 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 we're actually going Where are we to going? next trend, Morocco. Ooh, yes. this is a hot one. I love this. Nice. Because this has a really great artisan feel. Mm -hmm. And in 2017, we were seeing a lot of this. But in 2018, it's getting a little bit more specific. It's not only just general artisan. It's Moroccan artisan. Okay. Which is a lot of fun. So first things first, find that one piece that is really going to be your staple piece. And yeah. here in this vignette, it's going to be this bench here. Now, if you notice, it has that same tufting detail in it. Yes. So people might think, well, Moroccan, tufting. Moroccan design has a lot of French influence mm -hmm. because French colonialism was actually in Morocco. So they see a lot of that still there. Yeah. Now, we've chosen my favorite, Dusty Rose. Came back. <laughs> <laughs> came back. Do you remember that in the 80s? Back, back, back in the vengeance. 80s and the 90s. Right. It's cool again. I like it. Some people are calling it millennial pink and a little bit of a lighter hue. Yeah. But you can do this in, in, in a couple ways. But it's a really beautiful, soft color palette. And I really like that because it works really well then. If you look in the different pillows and the different fabrics that we have here behind us as well, there are a lot of pastels, but there are also a lot of jewel tones. Yes. So think Moroccan, a lot of jewel tones, sapphires, emeralds. Mm. rubies, whatever they are, and you're able to introduce that in, in a couple ways. Now, speaking of uh, fabrics and um, kind of rugs and textiles, 
all of the big box stores are really kind of jumping onto the bandwagon now, getting those rugs that have that really artisan look, that great artisan feel. It looks a bit aged. It looks like it's got a patina yes. to it. It's, you know, it looks like it's yeah. lived a bit. Absolutely. So, you know, that really is a, is a great grounding point as well. And then, of course, beautiful inlays and tables and accessories that you can find or you brought from your travels, yes. hammered metals, uh, whatnot. And so we had the joy of visiting Morocco uh, yes. last year and absolutely were just floored by the tiling and the colors and the gorgeousness of it all. So much. There's so much. And then, of course, the last trend is what I like to call old is new again. You like to call it granny chic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love mean, it. this looks great. <laughs> I think this is beautiful. Yeah. It's got that old touch to mm -hmm. it, um, but it's done very now. But you've hit, that's it. You've hit the nail on the head. So it is getting that old traditional feel, but doing yes. it in a more contemporary way. Uh -huh. So waxed uh, woods like this, reupholstered chairs like this. I found it, you know, you can find something like this if you go on Kijiji again or Craigslist and look for uh, uh, restaurant resales, restaurants that have gone out of business. You can find these great bistro yep. tables. Now this. Oh. The piece de resistance. Oh, yes. This beautiful chandelier, but this is all chain. Oh, so that I has a little it. bit of edge to it. It's a little bit fun. Funky. Yes. So it's exactly what you said, doing it in an old way with kind of contemporary and modern undertones. I want that in a dress. Me too. <laughs> in an earring. Can you imagine these two as earrings? I feel like that would be like, yeah. Totally, yes. <laughs> no.